guys, this is Patrick Midtown Outdoors. Before we get into this video, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. There's still a bunch of you that watch the channel that are not subscribed, and we'd sure like to hit that 2,000 mark this year. So come on, hit that button, subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you'll know when Midtown Outdoors posts another video. Let's get into well, it. What's going on, everybody? It's Patrick Midtown Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? Hope this video is finding you well. I think you can see it right there. I'll tell you where we are. But I'm not going in this entrance. I found one further down that way that we're going to go in. This is the south entrance. But I want to go up. I want to go down this way and try this other entrance and see how it works. So stay with me. Alright, so I was sitting at home the other night and I was going I was planning on coming up here or going somewhere to begin with and I got to look at the map and on the south end there's another entrance that we're headed to um, that I've got the starting point marked on the map that's further down from the main entrance there. Now let me tell you guys the temperatures have gone um, it's actually warming up now the sun's come out but a little bit ago it was 46 degrees or 45 degrees i think it got down to um it says it's back up to 49 my watch ain't saying nothing right now it's stuck on something else but anyways i'm looking for this cut in or this road on gaia that i've got marked as a starting point uh i will upload this at some point to the website once i'm done um i've never been this far down but there is a road coming up that will take me into land between the lakes from the southwest side yeah yeah southwest side so let's get down to it and see if we can find this and see what it looks like see what all we can see uh, this whole corner here i have never been down now i've got to be cautious it is deer season and them boys are anxious to get a deer and i'm gonna do everything i can not look like a three-point buck or a doe for that matter I do have an orange shirt on, so that helps. But uh, I'm going to get off of here and pay attention to the map for right now. Um, once I get to that, we'll see where we're going. Okay, so I had to come in the main Piney River, Piney Creek Campground Road. I think that road is the one I was trying to come in, if you'll see right there. But I think it was blocked off on the other side. Um, must have been. It had to have been. But like I said, I got to be careful. There's deer hunters all over the place. And I don't want to get shot at all. I was going to take try to see if I could stick my nose in this real quick. Yeah, it's 2... 236, and that's where I meant to come in at yeah but it didn't happen it didn't work that way all right well i'm going how far as cemetery is let me go check out the cemetery real quick if it's not too far in and there's not a bunch of hunters down here pointing rifles at me um huh. but anyway um Yeah, I don't know why I didn't see the road. Um, it should have led me right to that, but it, I didn't see it. I had marked on the map. Map was doing some wonky things. Still is. Um, so, I don't know. Go back a little bit. I'd come off like I ever gave a damn about 
you Let's catch a peek of all your great Alright, I'm testing a new toy out that will be on my uh, other channel at some point but uh, trying it out for now so let's see how this thing goes pretty sweet it's a pretty little area I'll put the name of the little area on the right down below there's actually people camping right over there and somebody's sitting up over there I thought it'd be a good place to kind of hang out for a little while so we'll see how it goes but I'm back shortly all right guys well I went down that new section I've never been down found some other stuff but I also drove off the road a little bit and some you may know where I am now there's one of the things but I'm checking because man I drug something Ooh, mud flaps still on it I don't know baby I hit the inner rim but I don't get no tire lights so I guess we're okay but it was just a real narrow road and I was passing a couple people and it got tight and I went off the shoulder a little bit and they went off the shoulder a little bit but when I come back on, I heard metal on asphalt. And I don't know what the frick it was. But I don't see anything, so I guess we're good. But there's the little furnace. So I'm back over in the center of LBL. And you know, I ain't got dirty yet. So I'm going to look at Gaia and see where I want to go from here. Um... Down at other camping campgrounds, Boswell Campgrounds, the name of it. Uh, like I said, I was going to put it down there at the bottom. But yeah, I was just a little bit concerned. Like I said, when I went off the road a little bit, I didn't mean I didn't go, you know, but deep in it. But I went off the side of the road. When I came back, I heard metal on metal, and maybe I got the inside of the the wheel. I don't know. I don't see anything running out of it. This is the first real good place I've had to pull over to check it, but I don't see anything. I mean, that's just water from where it rained last night. They got a lot more rain here than we did. But it has warmed up considerably. Uh, according to the truck, it's 52 degrees. Yeah, I got 52 on the watch, so... I don't know, let's do some more tooling around. I, I put a 230, 233 o'clock time to cut it off here. Uh, so if I cut it off at 230 or so, then that's so be it. But uh, I don't know. We're going to go somewhere else. May get over on the other side where I know a little bit to go from there. Alright, so we're stopped at one of the rest breaks right now actually the bison prairie is just right over here across the street and um, they're out back down the road but they're out like in another field so they're not down here where they would be sometimes but man you can smell the pine right now the pine are just smells so good I have devised a plan because I want to go back out my south entrance um, the original south entrance so I'm gonna go back here go back down um, let me show you on the map this is a road we've been down before many times uh, matter of fact we were just here and I'm gonna go back down towards the uh, lake find a good place for lunch and eat lunch and then maybe from that point, I call it a day. I don't know. Um, could even go back down here. Let's go back down here. Let's go down to, um, what road is that? 204, I think. Yeah, 204. 
that's what I'm gonna do is go back down to 204 hit 204 take it down to this one and come down because it takes you right to the lake um, let's do it let's do that we'll go eat lunch all right so those times where I get mad at myself for not having the front camera on deer just ran in front of the truck three deer hunters were chasing it I'm just kidding they weren't chasing it but that was pretty ironic that that deer ran in front of the truck. Uh, fire activity ahead. So yeah, I just that area I went down a minute ago um, was a prescribed burn area. So I don't know if they're prescribed burning now. Sorry, it's dark. There it goes. There it found me. Um, I don't know if they're burning today or if it's still burning or what but I could see some char on the other side of the road where they've been burning. So anyway, I guess we'll stay away from that area right now, but I did find it wasn't noteworthy, I'll say that. A couple of cemeteries. Yeah, we'll bypass that. Huh. But anyway, it's kind of funny that deer ran in front of the truck but uh, I did pass a camp and they were skinning one as we went by. I didn't get all queasy or nothing either. What's up guys? All right, take a quick lunch break. Nothing fancy. Actually got these at uh, local Publix, but I'm actually down at the lake. I've been down to this spot a couple times. Talked about camping here once, but we hadn't done it yet. But uh, I'm just going to eat a quick lunch. Um, I'm actually probably about to wrap this up. But um, I'm going to wrap, put this wrap in my mouth first. Drinking a little zero sugar. This famous YouTuber calls it Barlow Skeet. Um, it's beautiful. Beautiful day. It was cloudy, and before I got here, it got down into the 40s. Now it's, it's just 50, it's 55, but I'm wearing long pants, and I uh, got my um, flannel shirt on, so it's not bad. No, yeah, that's pretty good. So anyway, um, that's about it. I'm just going to sit here and eat. Look at this. I've been playing with my new toy. Still don't know how I feel about it. Kind of wonder if it's for my type of videoing. Hard work a little better. So I'm thinking about doing something. Selling off a couple of cameras to buy another camera. Um, go over to MTL Productions and that might be discussed on that channel in a couple of weeks. Not because I don't like them. Because I want to simplify things. I'm gonna finish eating. We'll get back on the road here in a little bit. I've never come, well I have, not me personally, I've never come down the big hill and everything to this campground. I've always come in from the other direction when I'm driving. Pretty neat.
all right guys well if sun glared you anyway uh, <laughs> all right guys that's the end of it um, time for a little celebratory uh, end of the day snack before I hit the road back home um, Got a pinched nerve in my neck and I'm gonna tell you something those roads did not help at all anyway it's kind of neat they're working on the picnic area making handicap accessible picnic areas and they're cleaning up those over there but South Visitor Center is right there it's actually deer check-in so everybody shot them themselves a deer this weekend or today. Checking me in over there. But uh, I got about two hours to get home. I was going to make this one short and sweet today because I want to get home and relax. Been a long, busy week. And uh, by the time you see this, you've probably already unstuffed your turkey and all that good stuff. So hope you had a great Thanksgiving. But uh, something rattling, like a shield. Oops, I don't know what I hit it on. But uh, anyway, that's it for the, oh, did it again. That's it for this one, guys. I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned, because Lord knows what we're going to do next. Because I'm not making any commitments this year anymore. I'm not going to tell you when I'm doing something. I'm just going to do it. And then you'll see it. Because every time I tell you I'm going to do it, it doesn't happen. Be prepared. See you on the next one.